let's discuss pe tubes what is what is that pressure equalizing tubes that is the little tubes that ENT surgeons put into a child's ear or often adults ears to equalize the pressure from between the outside and the inside okay now why do children need pe tubes so often that is because their heads are shorter uh, the heads are shorter and the eustachian tubes running from the nose to the ear, this eustachian tube, are more horizontal because their heads are flatter, okay? Um, the eustachian tube becomes more horizontal and infections can run easily from the nose into the ears, from the nose into the ears, okay? So uh, uh, this might cause a perforation in the tympanic membrane and uh, may cause a collection of fluid in the middle ear and uh, eventually can cause deafness and deafness in children is pretty dangerous because it can land up as speech impediments because they can't hear they won't be able to talk so well they have developmental delays development delays in speech of course impaired hearing poor school performance the child may not be able to hear and thereby can sit down and distract the class or be take to be uh, told off by his teachers. Okay, there may be structural changes to the eardrum. That is, the eardrum may become perforated or may become thickened. There may be trauma to the middle ear. The ossicles may get damaged eventually, which is the reason why we'd rather put a, a tube in. And this is what a tube looks like. This white plastic. It can be white. It can be blue. It's also known as a grommet. It's a little hole is made away with a little incision and the tube pushed in and the tube remained because it's in the shape of a flange. Okay, and um, let's go on to the next slide. This helps to prevent recurrent middle ear infection. It also helps to prevent complications of middle ear infection such as brain abscess. That's because you see this is the middle ear. It's very close to the brain. All it needs to do is, is break through this this wall, the skull. Uh, complications of middle ear can be affected. Uh, middle ear infections can be can be prevented. Um, and what are these complications? Brain abscess, meningitis, facial nerve palsy, because the facial nerve also runs through this space. Uh, in, uh, repeated infections there can cause facial nerve paralysis. And of course, mastoiditis, that is the infection of the bone just behind the ear. Uh, what are the complications of eustachian tube dysfunction? This is the, that is the dysfunction of this tube running from the middle ear to the nose. There may be tympanic, the mem uh, membrane retraction. This membrane may be retracted, pulled inwards with hearing loss. There may be ossicular erosion. That is to say, the bone might get eaten away. And of course, the pressure, negative pressure may be so gradual over time, but intense that it, it may pull this uh, membrane in in the form of a pocket which eventually forms a cholesteatoma and uh, we'll discuss the cholesteatomas later the basically we have to remember that it cholesteatoma is a sac of epidermis skin of the tympanic membrane growing inside the middle ear and eating away the bones of the middle ear thank you